Colette's from a dog show family. She's got good genes. Two older brothers are both professional handlers. All three were top junior handlers coming up in the sport. We saw Clint earlier in the hand group with the PBGB. I had to laugh when she, I said she had all these dogs, and she said we converted the garages. We wouldn't keep the cars. They're outside. <laughs> Happens to a lot of us. The German Shepherd dog, one of the most familiar dogs in the world, was for many years Germany's most important canine farmhand. It was imported into England, where it is known as the Alsatian, around the time of the First World War. It arrived here in the United States at the same time. This breed is characteristically courageous, intelligent, and lends itself to almost any work, from mom protection to babysitting. It is a rugged breed, fiercely loyal to its family and her. This is German Shepherd Dog with number six. Now David's on a the roll. There you see the owners. But this is David's pick, and he has really been hot. Hey, hey I talked to Carmen Battaglia, who judged the breed in German Shepherds. He says this dog has a great male characteristics and wonderful side movement. It's a beautiful dog. Going to go with Jimmy Moses. Jimmy Moses handles some of the top show dogs in history, the German Shepherds, especially our town is Mystique. The word old in the name of old English sheepdog is not accurate. The breed is probably less than 200 he's years old. For his eyes is what he he's was doing a basic now. sheepdog originally, but was later used as a I'm, drover. You can't tell me that dog market. can see, David. His coat Come on. Is resistant to both weather and brambles. He has been called the bobtail because some specimens are born without tails. Others have their tails docked close to the body. This breed has grown in popularity over the years, in part because of his jolly good looks, and no small part because of his jolly nature. This is Old English Sheepdog, number eight. They see right through that stuff, Joe. Right through it. They're far-sighted. They gotta be. They see right through it. That's Yoshi. With owner handler Jerry Martyr. <laughs> Cherry's won this group before with an old English sheepdog, one of the top old English people in the country. This is beautiful. Top young dogs. Look, look, look. Everything's a surprise. Through. You heard Don say to her a little bit earlier, proper speed. These dogs move, they have a shuffling gait like a bear. They have to be moved at the proper speed to, to show that properly. The Pulley is probably an ancient breed coming to Hungary from the East ten centuries ago. A possible place of origin could be Tibet, although that is not certain. It is the same kind of corded coat seen in the Commodore. The Pulley is adept at handling herds and flocks. He's also been used as a hunting dog. This is truly a rugged individualist. He is athletic, intelligent, alert, and what fancy is referred to as elastic. He's naturally very loyal to his master and family, and he can be manipulative. The plural of Pulley is Pulik. This is Pulley number five. This is the cousin of our buddy, the Commodore, Yeah, I was going to say, looks like a Commodore after taxes. <laughs> Smaller and black, you know, they tell me that sheep take their direction best from dark dogs. This is Matilda. Turn around, please. Uh, that graphic, best in show. We'll have it, and it's going to be exciting, I tell you. Well, you're going to have a chance to see it. That's all I can say. The Shetland Sheepdog is a collie in miniature with some other changes as well besides size. He is a native of the Shetland Islands. The habitat in the Shetland Islands is limited, rugged, and in some people's estimation, hostile. The ponies, cattle, and dogs that come from there are rugged as well and small enough to be accommodated by what the islands have to offer. The Shelty is a companion dog, friendly, gay, and very talkative. This is Shetland Sheepdog number 11. We had a Sheltie last year that showed so well in the best of show. He won this group. Got a lot of attention. This is Bridget. The owner handler Karen Dickinson from Squim, Washington. Go right around. Dr. Dubler, who is the granted judge best in show, is already here. And all the dogs she'll see will be surprises. She'll make the decision, but you're going to have a chance. We'll tell you more about it later. This is the car Corgi with the tail. 
In Welsh, corgi means dog. The Cardigan, named for Cardiganshire in Wales, is one of the oldest breeds in the British Isles. He was a house guard and companion through most of his career, but that was secondary work. Its principal task is to drive cattle. He is a tireless worker. As late as the middle 1800s, the Cardigan and Pembroke Welsh corgis were interbred, but that is not done today. The corgis are friendly companion dogs in every setting. This is the Cardigan Welsh Corgi, number 12. Here's Abby with Handler Jane Myers. We saw Greg earlier, and there's Steve Donaldson, one of the co-owners. This is great. Jane, of course, is a professional handler, so I'm sure she makes, some, makes a fee for boarding a dog, but it says here that Abby and Jane love to eat lobster together. Well, yeah, I had to buy lobster for your dog. <laughs> And this is the corgi without a tail. It's from Pembrokeshire and traces back to the 12th century. The Pembroke, you will note, is shorter than the cardigan in body length. Its legs are straighter and the coat is finer. The cardigan's ears are rounded, the Pembroke's are pointed, and then, of course, there is the tail. The corgis are growing in popularity, and one does feel this is a breed whose time as a top companion dog has yet to come in this country. This is Pembroke Welsh Corgi, number 11. Down and back way down and back. Small dog. We don't want him oh, to wear no. himself out. No, we down. don't want him to be on empty because <laughs> those little legs will pump. Look at this. They'll pump as hard as they can and, and looking around as if to say, I'm really beautiful, aren't I? And look at that, oh, the back of it, man, just going from side to side. Love it. And around. And around. Forrest Gump. Ah, me. Well, I'm going to say it one more time. Well, I'll say it a couple more times. Best in show. What we're working towards. We'll be right back. This little girl is 16 days old, but she has actually been getting pedigree puppy for more than nine weeks already. Dr. Fran Smith, veterinarian and tough breeder. That's because their mother was fed pedigree puppy throughout her entire pregnancy. Once the puppies are done... The Bouvier de Flandre, the Briard, the Rough Collie, you hear the, dog, the crowd's reaction, the German Shepherd, Leroy Brown, the old English Sheepdog shuffles his way around the ring. Forest Jump, a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Tom's probably got a pretty good idea what he's going to do here. He's just sort of looking at some final details. Well, now you pick the shepherd. I'm going to pick Lassie. Seems to be walking right by my shepherd. And he goes to the old English the side. The, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi is at the end of the line. Moves up a little bit. Got the Shepherd in second for the moment. The Belgian Sheepdog. Here's the Corgi. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi. I don't know what he's got in mind here. He's putting the Corgi up into third. I think he's done, Joe. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. That's it. Oh, he's stopping them. Let's see if he's going to rearrange something or if he's going to just wait and point. One. Point it. Two. Oh, there was Sheepdog with Jerry Martyr. She's been here before. She won this group about eight years ago with the old English that was born in the drive through line at a fast food restaurant. Oh, she could hardly believe it, David. Oh, she's excited, I know. Yeah. One of my favorite people. She's from Chicago. Well, we're working towards best in show. Every piece is going into place. And you're going to get a chance to meet the best in show judge. There you see her getting ready. So stay with us. You come back. We're going to be here.